Hello there, folks. Hope you're all doing well here at the National Zoo. And um, you guys may know this palm. Unfortunately, um, it and very unusually, usually palms, window palms, you can, you know, get some damage from the cold. But last winter was really mild and it survived the winter just fine. And then fortunately, it started to decline uh, over the warm months. And I only visited it for the first time about a month, a little more than a month ago, and saw it like this. Really unfortunate. Um, and I wish I could have gotten into it sooner. <laughs> unfortunately, four weeks ago, I tried to get here. It closed early for, for a Halloween, so I couldn't get here. Three weeks ago, I had the flu. Two weeks ago, I got a pass. I parked, and I came here, and then they wouldn't allow anyone else into the zoo. I guess they had already reached capacity or whatever, so I couldn't get in. Last weekend, I couldn't for whatever reason. So, you know, it would have been great if I could have administered this treatment uh, earlier because we've had some cold temperatures in the low 20s. Very, unusual, very unusually cold for this time of year, but uh, at least I'm here now, and thankfully this whole week's in, like, the 50s and 60s. Um, even, like, the, like, 10 days from now, it's supposed to be, like, 61 or something. So this whole week's going to be nice and warm. So I'm excited about that but i've got the uh hydrogen peroxide here as you can see i've used this on my other palms my waggy and my tracky fortunai my little ones uh got spear pull off for this past winter and i mean they probably would have recovered fine on their own but this uh, what it does basically is as you know you put it on your skin and when, if you have like a cut or something and it basically kills the bacteria it does the same with the palms so you know presumably this palm has some sort of infestation in there you can see the trunks leaning it looks like it's leaning even a little more because of the, what's ever going on in there and it looks like they might have even trimmed away some of the dead growth, but at least they haven't cut the palm down yet. So my hopes is they don't cut it down, uh, you know, before it can have a, have a chance to regrow. But thankfully, it's still mostly green. Um, but yeah, basically, this, this will kill hopefully whatever uh, rot's going on in there. And last time I felt it, the spear was still firm, so that was good, but it was obviously brown. Um, very unusual to have a palm decline over the warm months here. I've never heard of that happening, but obviously it can happen, you know, for whatever reason, maybe it's got some sort of root issue, some sort of crown issue, you know, palms are, are, uh, are can be complicated plants to understand sometimes, but we're just gonna do what we can to save it right now. So you can see, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a gorgeous track. It, look at these leaves, just stunning, stunning. And it, it'll, very droopy leaves, very unusual. Um, I think it might be, uh, you know, some sort of, some variety of tricarbs for tonight, different from the ones that I have, so. I'm gonna go over here and uh, administer this treatment right now to this palm. So check that out. See here. Um, and try to see if I can uh, get some of that spear. So, so sorry guys. You see that nice and firm. I'm still, I'm still tugging and tugging and it's still firm. So I don't know if that's a spear or what, but we're gonna do what we can. So basically get that there. Pour that down the growth cavity there. I'm gonna try to get a lot of it because um, this is a huge palm, so. Get a little more. All right, I think that's probably good. There, yeah. So, anyways, that's that's again. I, you, you sort of got to eyeball it with this sometimes. It can be can be difficult to. Uh, sorry, there. Um, can be difficult to uh, you know know exactly how much to put, but just enough that it, it you know gets down down deep in there to kill it, but not enough that it'll sort of create its own issue if you have like too much wetness pooling up. That can be a problem. But thankfully. Uh, you know, I don't think any temperatures even in the 30s certainly below freezing over the next week or so um, You know, you know, so it shouldn't freeze that, you know The issue is if you do this and then it immediately freezes that can create a problem of its own But thankfully it's, it'll be nice and warm. So unfortunately, it's been through some cold temperatures already um, Without any treatment, but hopefully now we can get on the road to recovery again I don't know if this, this palm has a chance to recovery But obviously it's better to do something even if it doesn't than to do nothing because we don't really don't know uh, and the big problem for this is that, you know, if it were going into the, the warm season, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, you know, very looking forward just to seeing it recover soon as, as the plant grows. But unfortunately we're going into winter, so we probably won't know for a while. And also, you know, having the cold going in with a huge issue like this into the cold when it's already a somewhat marginal palm here, let's just pray for a mild winter and, uh, hope that nothing too bad comes and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it'll recover. I, you know, a lot of people said they think it will, um, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to say it will or won't. I don't know, obviously, but I am, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna hold out hope for this palm and I will of course keep you guys updated, but sorry it took me so long to get here, but finally I have gotten that treatment in there. And we, we've got some you know nice warm winter from here on out. Nice mild, win, uh, sorry, nice mild weather from um, for at least the next week or two, next several weeks. So looking forward to that. I'll keep you guys updated folks. Like and subscribe for more videos. Stay tuned and take care. Beautiful window palm here. Trade carbs for tonight at the National Zoo. Again, it wasn't the winter that killed it. This thing has survived here for at least probably four or five winters now. Um, just a stunning palm, and it's grown uh, with crazy speed. It's crazy. Uh, just gorgeous. Take care, folks. I'll keep you guys updated.